Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I have a brand new video for you and first off, let me just say I am very sorry that my upload game has not been up here recently and that's just because I've been going through school, I've been going through some things and really I put YouTube on a back burner and I understand that that's not fair for a lot of you. So thank you to anyone who's just watching this video right now that uh, just came to expect daily uploads and then you know about a week or two ago it just stopped. So I'm not going to say I'm getting back into daily uploads because I just can't. However, I have been working on new series and just kind of refreshes to the channel to make it a little bit more interesting for everyone there. So let's talk about it, Aaron 11 Live Stories. How do I do it? How do I remember all of these live stories? Are they all fake? And I guess I'll just go in with the uh, first initial question that I think a lot of people have and a lot of people might assume. So are my life stories fake? I'm going to go ahead and debunk that with a no. Every single one of my life stories has actually happened. Every single one from the first one to my most recent life story, everything's happened. And it, I think it's hard for people to believe either one is because I'm really only sharing like the highlights of my life stories. And it's kind of like, how do you remember in such detail? This was so long ago. And I have a, a little secret for remembering things. And you have to practice this. You will not get good at it. I've kind of been doing things like this my entire life. I, I like, you know, remembering. I'm good at remembering things. I have very vivid memories of pretty much uh, at all points of my life. The only, the hardest part, I guess you could say, is recalling it. And that's why I was asking you guys on my other live stories if you would, you know, tell me a topic and I'll try to think of something. So I'm going to get into this like strategy that you can start practicing and maybe it'll help you recall your memories a little bit better. So what you want to do is, wait, 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 before I start, like this video, like it, like it, I know you want to like it. Let's get it, let's get a like from every single one of you and let's see where we get. How about that? So, what is the exercise? It is basically going to... Yeah, what is, what is that game called? What is that game you always used to play in school? Connect the dots. That's what it is. You're going to connect the dots in your head. You're going to connect the dots in your head. So, what you're going to do is I want you to close your eyes. All right? Now, I know that's kind of weird, and if you're sitting out in public and you're just kind of like looking at your phone and you just close your eyes, people are going to think you're asleep. Don't worry. Like, shake your hand. <laughs> no, no, don't shake your hands. I don't know what you could do. Just go away. <laughs> Get out of the public eyes. Sit at home and do this. All right, close your eyes. Okay? Now, think back to a time. Oh, let's make this simple. A time that you were in your kitchen or your parents' kitchen or your grandparents' some kitchen. You were in a kitchen. And you drop something, all right? You drop something that possibly could have triggered about 40% of you. You're like, oh, yeah, I dropped a plate once. Oh, my God, I'm talking and your eyes are closed. So <laughs> that probably triggered a good percentage of you. You're like, you know what? I broke something. Yeah, a lot of people just broke something. But maybe it hasn't triggered you just yet. Now, try to remember a time that you might have dropped something and got in trouble or try to hide it to stay out of trouble. Now, this is a good memory, but we're not there yet. You don't know exactly what happened. And if you can imagine it, then good. You're almost there. But what I want you to do, here's the curveball. What was the piece that you dropped and where exactly did you drop it? Can you go back to that kitchen right now and stand exactly where you dropped it? Do that. Do that at some other point after this video. But once you get there, I want you to just close your eyes as you're in the kitchen. Try to relive that experience. Feel the same emotion that you did. Was it scared or was it like, oh, well, I dropped it. Better clean it up. But now here's the even bigger curveball. What cabinets were open? What was on the counter? What were you doing? Was the sink running? Were you standing at the dishwasher? Try to piece all of these pieces together, connect the dots, and do this on a... You can open your eyes now. You can watch the video. Try to do this on a daily basis. Just kind of remember something, anything. Just pick a topic. And just try to remember and add more detail with it. And either you're going to get your entire, like, what happened that day, or you're just going to remember bits and pieces. And you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that. The sink was running. And uh, I dropped the plate. 
and I stepped on some broken shards or something like that. So, I mean, this works with anything and this is kind of like what I used to do. I don't really have to do that anymore. I can pretty much, you know, garbage truck and then a few stories pop in my head or a few experiences with garbage trucks pop in my head too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is like a little bit of an insight of how I remember my life stories. So make sure you leave this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you with a brand new one very, very soon. Peace.